first off, I just want to thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. Sure. You were actually my first conference call interview as a professional TV critic. So coming to see you in now, person. Were you the one that on the on oh yeah, the, was uh, I the one on Twitter that that said you were homeless before that, and then yeah, yeah. That was me. Yeah, I wasn't planning on remembering that, but yeah. thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. You 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 wrote about you wrote that on Twitter recently. Okay. I think I saw that. that then I mentioned you, but yeah, I uh, was homeless three years, and then got housed and became a TV critic, and now I'm doing this. But you were my first. Uh, man. Thank you. You were my first conference call. Um, so coming here is kind of symbolically fun for me. Cool. Um, what brings you to something like this, to interact with the fans? I mean, that's definitely a big part of it. Um, I I like talking to the fans, you know. To, to me, it's, uh, it's a way to give back to them, you know. I mean, uh, people look at it and they're like, what, you're going to take money from these people? And, uh, but the thing is, some people spend money um, to have season tickets to a football game or they spend money to buy art or they spend money to do whatever they love and people come here they save their money they spend their money because they want to spend money on the things that they love so i mean i look at it as you know we're, we're it's a symbiotic relationship and i get to meet people that have made it possible for me to have a career so um, i'm able to you know Give back a little bit. Okay. If you had, uh, you've done a lot of different kind of work. If you had a Spielberg budget, and you were basically presented that you could produce, act, direct in something of your own wanting, choosing, liking. What kind of genre? What kind of story? What would be something that, if you had the funds, you could tell that story to someone? I think I would do a, um, I would do a film, a Vietnam film about the air cab. Uh, and the, the, uh, the pilots that flew the um, gunships and the helicopters in the air cab, um, the scout pilots and the, 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 uh, the slick pilots, because people don't know enough about how insanely brave uh, these guys were. And finally, what is something that we can look forward to seeing you in, in the near future? Guest starring um, or May 24th, I'm going to be on this show called Battle Creek, okay. which is on ABC with Josh Duhamel and uh, yeah. Dean Winters. Um, and uh, other than that, I'm just playing a lot of Call of Duty online and, <laughs> and uh, driving my wife insane. Which is why she sends you out here. That's right. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, sir. It's my So what brings you out to Minneapolis? I'm here for Wizard World Comic Con. And have you done many of these before? Um, not a whole lot. In the past I have, but not recently. And have you ever been to Minneapolis before? Yes, I yep. have. Okay. Yeah. Um, your career has been well defined. I mean, if we Google you, it's Buffy. And so my question for you is, what's something that fans don't know about you that you kind of wish someone would ask? You know, they never ask me about my passion or a hobby or what's something that, because Buffy shouldn't define who you are. There's other no. things in the world. Yeah. But other than acting, what's something that you hope defines you 10, 20 years from now? And maybe not defines well, you, I but I mean, just... movie making is something that I love. You know, I love, uh, I'm getting into producing now. Are you? I have two movies in development at the moment. And so that's something I'm interested in, possibly directing as well. Just because I've, I've been around it 37 years now and, and I have all the knowledge, why not, you know, use it. use it. So if you had Spielberg financing, what's something that you didn't care how well it did, but was important to you? And maybe that's what you're doing now with these projects that you're working on. But what's something that's important to you that you wish that you would be able to tell that story or... Well, the, one of the movies I have in development is about PTSD okay. and about the wounded warriors. So that's something that's very near and dear to my heart. I would like to do a lot for those guys. And do you have a personal connection, or is it just their stories in general that all their you to stories them? are amazing? I do. Have, I've made a lot of friends along the way because of it, um, just being so involved. But it's just it's a passion of mine. And you're active on social media, you mm -hmm. Twitter. I know because you retweeted me about a week ago, so uh -huh. that was a highlight for me. <laughs> um, but what is it about these engagements through Twitter and even doing something like this that you like so much or appreciate? I mean, you could be sitting at home 
doing whatever, but you're coming to these and you're hanging with us. What is it about that that engagement that's direct, where you can respond to someone on Twitter or see a fan at these conventions? Well, I love all the I love the convention and I love the Twitter and all that because you know back in the old days it used to be fan mail, you know, and, you, and you'd read a letter and that was always nice to be able to get some response from someone who likes something that you did, you know. Um, I always get very touched when, when people come up to these shows and they tell me, you made me laugh in such and such project, or you made me cry, or, you know, I, that movie touched me in some sort of way. It, it means I did my job and it makes me feel, um, you know, fulfilled in that I, that I did something nice for somebody else, you know. Cool. Alright, well, I hope you enjoy your stay here in Minneapolis. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm here for the Wizard World Comic Book Convention. What made you, instead of sitting at home, what made you want to come to the... Um, I'm a huge fan of uh, comic book conventions and comics in general. I've been coming to these... Uh, I've been actually coming to the bigger ones, I feel like, for since 97. The San Diego Comic Con was one of my first big ones, but even before that, um, I grew up in Jersey. And we used to drive up to New York and they used to have these comic book conventions in, like, church basements and stuff which was a convention but it just was coming the difference between now and then it's such a big difference but I've been doing it for 25 years and the, the just the walking around and seeing all the cool toys and statues and comics is amazing meeting the people and stuff so that's one of the reasons I wanted to come is for the you know for some of that interaction and such what is something that fans would be surprised to learn about you so much of your life has been well public but yes. what is something that when you're sitting at home you wish you thought to yourself hey i wish someone would ask me about this because this is something that's passionate of mine that no one really knows about oh i don't know i don't that's a good question and it's a tough one because i feel like um i really do share almost everything i have shared most things even even something as silly as this week uh, it, I didn't share this this week but it happened about a month ago and it just happened again is we had a rat in, uh, we had a rat in our studio um, and I was trying to get rid of it and I had a camera I have a camera in my studio and I watched him I got traps two traps then I got four traps and then I got 15 traps literally and I would watch him walk around him and I just wanted him to get stuck and get out of there because I didn't want to go in my studio because he was trapped in there. What people don't know, but they sort of do know even because I share this, is, is that like I wanted him gone, but then when I caught him and I saw it and I saw him trapped and dead, I, I almost like, I got a little teary-eyed. I felt bad for some reason. So I don't know, um, I don't know, that's something I feel like it's a weird thing to share, but I've shared it, and so that's my point. Is I feel like I share everything, so I don't know if there's much out there that I have not shared that people would be surprised by because I share everything. Final question: What is something that uh, you're looking forward to that your fans might see you in or doing, or what's your oh, next project? Uh, my next project, uh, you know what I'm really excited about. I just launched. Uh, uh, vapors. Uh, I've been vaping. Quits. I want to. I'm trying to quit smoking. Well, I quit smoking, but I was trying to quit smoking. I started vaping, um, and the juices are all there's so many, and, and so I started. I came up with my own five flavors, and it's called Muse Juice. So you go to MuseJuice.com, and uh, I have five different flavors, and there's some 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 good flavors, uh, flavors that I love. So that's something different and new that I started, um, and uh, you know we're still doing the podcast, Jay and Son Bob get old, and we're doing I'm doing more of these conventions. So you can go to csmod s e e s m o d dot com, and that that'll tell everyone where Kevin and I will be doing our podcast, where where we'll be at these conventions. Um, I'm trying to work on Groovy Super Jay and Bob Super Groovy Cartoon Movie Two. I wrote it with a buddy of mine and. I need Kevin to proofread it because it's his, he has to give final approval, but uh, hopefully we'll get that going soon so we'll have a new Jay and Bob cartoon movie out. So. Cool, thank you. Thank you.